Hey there, Prepper people, this is Noah again. Today on the Prepared Ranch, we're gonna show you how to charge up the AC200 with three of these portable panels. See you in a few seconds. Okay, so as you can see, we already have two of these panels set up. These are Blue 80 120 watt portable solar panels. They put out about 19.8 uh, volts max each. The Blue Eddy AC200 requires at least 35 volts in order to be able to start charging. So in order to really hit that and really be solid into there, you need three of these panels. Now you see they fold up into a relatively small package, looks pretty good. Uh, about nine pounds for each of these panels, which isn't very much. I mean, if you can move the AC200, you can definitely move these around pretty easily. So I'm gonna show you how we wire these together. We're gonna wire them in series. You're probably gonna wanna come a little closer to me so you can actually hear me with another microphone. Um, so these are just pop these out and they open up and this unfolds pretty quick and easy and they're velcro i'm actually gonna put this one down here i think you want them aimed more or less at the sun to get as much power out of them as you possibly can but what i find works is if you fold this over like this and so you can open this packet up and this is where your wires are Ta-da! These are MC4 connectors, which they only connect one way. As you can see, you got a male and a female. So that's how you know you're going to wire them in series. And they have these little kickstands on the back, which maybe Nancy can show you on the back. The ones that are up there, you can actually see the little kickstands there. <coughs> hey, River. River says it's hot, and she's right. It's approaching 90 degrees right now. Humidity is probably somewhere in the mid 60s dew point, so it's kind of warm. Just so you know that for reference. So here's the negative MC4 connection from that panel over there. We're going to plug that into the positive of the one we just set up. <clears throat> and here's the negative to negative. And that's going to wire these all three in series now. And that goes to this, which is an XT90 connection. Okay, so now we're going to connect up the XT90 connection from the MC4s to the other XT90, which goes to this aviation connection, which you see right here. And this aviation connection has a little notch on the top that you can see. And that'll connect into the Blue Eddy. Be a little fidgety especially since I'm hot and, there you go. and it connects right in so now you can see we've got the uh, Blue Eddy AC200 and again this is a 1700 watt hour AC200 that we have here uh, as opposed to the AC200P which is 2000 watt hours uh, we got it at about 50% charge power right now we used it a little bit this morning and with the three panels connected the three 120 watt panels connected we're getting about 240 watts of input which I think there's a number of factors that are pertaining to keeping it a little bit low as far as the input. One is it is hot, which heat does kind of degrade the solar panel's ability for uh, creating power. And uh, I don't think we have exactly the right angle on the sun. Plus, it is pretty early in the morning here right now. It's only about uh, 8.30, 9 a.m. And what we're going to do is we're going to see how long it takes to actually charge this with those three panels uh, from 50% to full power. And we'll come back. Okay, quick update on the charging of the AC200 utilizing the three 120 watt Blue Eddy panels. Uh, it is currently 1030, almost exactly, and we're already at 62%. We still have about 252, 253 watts of power coming in from the panels. We'll update you again in a little bit. Thanks, bye. Okay, we're at 79%. Current time is 11.34, so we're about an hour later. Still charging at 240-ish volts, or watts, excuse me, 240-ish watts, and uh, 79%. We'll check in again. Okay, here we are at 12.30. We're at about 86%. We only have 
210, somewhere around there. Watts of solar input, and that's because we're starting some clouds. Uh, take a look out here. Dog. Hey, River. She keeps walking in front of the <laughs> solar panels, too. And dog shadows don't help. But you see, we got some high clouds here that are coming in. It's starting to take away a little bit of our solar power, but you know, it's a real world test. So right now we're at about, like I said, about 86%, a couple hours into it, and getting about 200 or so watts input. Shortly after that last video, we had some family show up and wanted to go swimming in the pool. So the good news is, despite having kiddos running back and forth in front of the solar panels and blocking the sun and clouds coming in and out and water being splashed onto the solar panels, we were still able to charge the Blue Eddy at 147 to 100%. All in all, pretty good result. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and please comment. It sure does help us out quite a bit. We'll see you in the next one.